Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, my name is Inês, I'm an artist and illustrator and in today's video I'm going to do the third part of my new series, Drawing Mythical Creatures. And in today's video I'm going to draw a Medusa. If you don't know what the Medusa is, it's a mythical creature from the Greek mythology that is basically uh, one of the three Gorgons. Gorgons were described as human uh, winged women that would have venomous snakes in place of their hair and that anyone that would gaze into their eyes would turn into stone. However, in a late version of this myth, um, a Medusa was a beautiful maiden that had a love affair with Poseidon and Athena was very very jealous and because of that she turned Medusa into the monster that we know today. This late version for me it's more interesting because it adds a layer of why Medusa was the way she was uh, and why she was a monster but it keeps a, a bit of a humanity in her as well. So I think it's more interesting in terms of character exploration. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna draw on my sketchbook as I've been doing. I'm gonna draw on my trusty render sketchbook from Crescent. I'm gonna use also my Blackwing pencil, my Prismacolor pencil, uh, the color rays and the blue shade. And I will also use my Farber Castle Albrecht Duri Albrecht Durri Albert Albrecht Durri Albrecht Durri I think watercolor marker is this one basically <laughs> I have a bit of an injury on my wrist in this week so uh, probably I will do this in a few parts and take a rest in the middle but like obviously the magic of editing will uh, not make it noticeable however I just wanted to let you know because I don't know how this is gonna go but if you are interested to see how my process is of character exploration keep watching the video so I start by outlining the first sketch using the Prismacolor pencil I wanted to portray a moment of contemplation of the Medusa I consider the snakes in her head almost as her thoughts, voices in her head. It's interesting because in most of the depictions of Medusa, I almost never seen her represented with wings. So using wings as one of her characteristics in these uh, sketches was definitely a surprise but a good one since I can play more with the design this way. I add graphite to give more contrast to the lines. I continue adding details, adding shadows, do the outlining with graphite and just polishing the form of the sketch. I start the second sketch, making the Medusa more angular, thinner and more cartoony because I wanted to play a little bit with different types of designs, different types of forms and I think this one was one that I definitely enjoyed doing and I think it represented well her personality. I decided to add a sketch where her humanity and her emotions are shown. So imagine being turned into a monster, not being able to contact with anyone without making them turn into stone. What would you think? What would you feel? What would your inner voices and self-doubt say to you? It would be unbearable in my opinion and overwhelming. So this particular sketch I wanted to show her despair, her um, just trying to quiet down her doubts, her inner thoughts and that are represented 
by the snakes. So I think it was a, an interesting way of using uh, the particular characteristics of the Medusa in order to tell a specific story. I also use my Sakura Pigma Micron in size 005. It's really nice because the lines don't vary too much in thickness, so we can control more the, the thickness of the lines when we are using this. So I really like it. And proceed with the marker pen from Faber Castell to do some of the shadows and add some volume to the sketch. I start the next page with a bigger sketch focusing on the Medusa's expression. Here is where she starts to accept her fate and her new identity. She is past the self-doubting phase and she understands that nothing will change. She is the only one that can change her own fate and accept who she is now. So I wanted to portray this and obviously with that the humanity in her starts to fade as well, so I wanted to, to portray that in this specific sketch. I do the second graphite sketch. Um, I really love the movement on, in this one. It turned out way better than I anticipated, to be honest. And I really liked the... Um, the angles of her, or her, of her body, how the snakes will lay out, and I think overall it really works. And at least for me, I really enjoyed making this one because sometimes I don't vary the poses too much, and I feel this one was quite interesting for me to do in terms of perspective as well. In this one, the Medusa's indifference and coldness starts to settle in, for sure. She understands her power and she accepts. She is no longer the maiden she once was. She's a monster, she's perceived by others as a monster, and there's nothing that she can do to be different. So she just accepts who she is and her feelings are, her feelings are less noticeable. She's just indifferent and accepts her fate. Honestly, this creature was super interesting to explore both con conceptually and visually. I think visually there's a lot of potential in terms of creating a character with this backstory. I add volume, shadows, detailing to the drawings, using both my Pigma Micron and my Pigma FB pen. 
I start giving the finishing touches to the sketches. One funny thing that I thought while I was doing this was that, you know that, that thing that the Greeks have a lot of statues and sculptures? And one must wonder if there's not actually the work of our lovely and terrifying Medusa. <laughs> Something to think about, for sure. <laughs> I really like to give these things uh, a thought. Uh, obviously it's fiction, it's a myth, but I think it's just interesting to see parallelisms and ways that we can use the stories and just try to understand the past and in order to understand the future. So I think that's why I'm in love with mythology. It's full of symbolism, it's full of stories that help you understand who we are as humans and what's our power as well. So I think there's a lot of possibility here in this specific story of understanding our differences, understanding the challenges in our lives and our changes as well. So for me, this was definitely a very interesting uh, exercise to do. This is the final result of the of the spread. Uh, it's maybe not the best one that I ever will do or ever done, but I really enjoyed the way I used the sketches to do some sort of storytelling as well. So it really helped me to understand Medusa's myth and her own characteristics and her own personality and how she went from a maiden to a mythical monster. So I hope you enjoyed this process video. This is the final result of the, the spread uh, of this video. It was interesting for me to do this. I didn't have a, like a proper idea of what I wanted it to look like, so it was more of an experimentation than anything else. Also, I have a, a sprain on my wrist, so I, it wasn't very comfortable for me to do this. However, there's a few things that I do like uh, in this spread. I like this character and this page. Uh, I like it much more than this one. But I think also because I was still exploring um, as I got along and uh, developed a little bit more of the the feeling of the character it can be noticed on the final few sketches so overall i really enjoyed this i think the medusa creature is really interesting um i think there's a possibility of a really nice backstory to explain why she is the way she is um and even though i had to stop a little bit uh, between sketches. It was really nice to do and I cannot wait to do another one and uh, even a different video. So if you like the video please uh, give it a like, subscribe if you are not already and I'll see you next week with another video. Bye!